Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14.6 probably the last big update to iOS 14 before the release of the first beta of iOS 15 on June 7th at WWDC 2021. So in this video, I will show you guys everything there is to know about this upcoming update before you install it on your device. First of all, we're talking about the size of the update. This is quite a big update. It should come to your device at around four gigs. I got it right here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max at around 4.2 gigs, which is quite huge, of course, based on the device that will be different sizes and of course based on which ios version you have currently installed on your device even though this doesn't have that many features it's still quite a big update now when talking about features ios 14.5 was packed with features but it also caused a problem on iPhone 12s and iPhone 11 models. Now that problem was causing those devices to perform poorly. Now if you have that problem, iOS 14.6 will actually fix that. iOS 14.6 will fix this very big problem that as I said, iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 users have been facing with basically slower performance after booting up their devices. So if you had the bad luck to have that problem, then this update will fix that for you. Now, before we get into the more important details regarding this update, let's first take a look at some of the new features that Apple has added with iOS 14.6. Now, really cool one is the app clip of Shazam. So if you're playing music on your iPhone and of course, you enable music recognition here and you don't have the app installed on your device, if you would tap right there, it would take you to the Shazam website. But with iOS 14.6, now you will have the Shazam app clip installed. So when you go right here, you can see there's the app clip. Of course, you can have access to app clips directly from the library. And when you go to your settings, you will have here a section for app clips and they will find Shazam as well. Now from here, of course, you can remove the app clip if you want to, or you can go ahead and install the full app. A very important change with iOS 14.6, this will probably be very, very important for a lot of people, has come to voice control. So if you use voice control on your device, this is a very important update. So voice control when enabled, of course, allows you to just to command your iPhone using your voice. If you reboot your device or, or if the device is actually shut off and you just boot it up, then you won't be able to actually use voice control without unlocking your device. Now with iOS 14.6, Apple has added this feature that will actually allow you to use voice control to actually unlock your device after you have booted it up. So if I just turn off the device right here, you can see once it boots up again, I will be able to actually unlock it with the passcode using voice control, which is of course very, very useful and probably life-changing for a lot of people that use voice control. So let's just boot up the device. And as you can see right here, the device is booted up and now I will be able to actually unlock it using the passcode. As you know, once you boot up the device, you won't be able to actually unlock it with face ID. We'll first have to enter your passcode. And now of course I can command using voice control. So tap one, tap one, tap two, as you can see right here, I can go ahead and type my passcode when the device is booted up. This is an amazing feature and a great update from Apple. Now when going to your settings and going to privacy and tracking, you will see that now the text here has been updated. Now, of course, the anti-tracking feature that Apple has presented with iOS 14.5, very important. And of course, it made a lot of headlines on the news. So you can see right here, now the text has been updated and it basically explained a bit clearer what it does. So if you're just interested to know that, you can actually see everything here in details and even learn more about the anti-tracking feature. Now, most people are excited regarding iOS 14.6 because of the big changes on the Apple Music. Of course, looseless audio and also spatial audio coming to your iPhone, which is great. Spatial audio on Apple Music will be amazing. And that, of course, is because you will be able to actually use it using your AirPods, whether those be like the AirPod ones, twos, the pros or the pro maxes, you will be able to actually use spatial audio with Apple Music and your devices, which is great. Now, when talking about looseless audio, you won't actually be able to use that 
either with your AirPods or your AirPods Pro, your AirPods Pro Max or the HomePod. And that of course is very, very disappointing. I know a lot of people won that update because they thought that maybe they would be able to listen to that type of music with their headphones but of course the bluetooth technology doesn't allow that to happen so basically you will have to settle for the spatial audio which again i'm really excited about it should be really really interesting so we will have to wait as apple said that will be available in june so probably that will come on the next update or that will be server based on i don't know how they will implement that but it should come in june probably after wwdc 2021 music has seen a lot of changes on the settings app as well so on ios 14.6 you go to settings you go to music you will see here quite a lot of readjustments and changes as well first of all you will get like a button right there to turn on or off seller data for your music and then you will also get here seller streaming so if you go to seller streaming you will see here you have none you have high efficiency and of course high quality and also you see the descriptions right here very interesting to see that and you will also get here like download over seller you can enable it from here this is new as well and we have like a lot of here you can see like readjustments like repositions of different settings that apple has done with the new ios 14.6 and now let's get to the important part let's talk about battery and performance on ios 14.6 probably the thing that a lot of people want to know about which has of course the most impact on the daily use of your devices now i'm a bit surprised with ios 14.6 right here on the iphone 12 pro max I basically had like a constant battery life since I bought it and of course with like four or five different iOS versions I had like the same battery life. iOS 14.6 for me has been better than all the previous iOS 14 versions I had on this device. I know from the beginning of iOS 14 I said always that there, there has been like consi consistency on the battery life and I didn't see any like improvements or like any like bad battery life on any of the versions but with ios 14.6 i can finally say that i have noticed an improvement on battery life on the everyday use of course when you get a newer device you will get better battery life but again compared to other ios versions which i had on this device i can say that battery life is a bit better with iOS 14.6. So if you're facing problems with battery life, maybe on iOS 14.5 or even like an older version of iOS 14, I suggest that you update your device to iOS 14.6. Now when talking about performance, it's basically the same as iOS 14.5. Now on everyday use, I didn't notice any like changes or something like that not any like major bugs or glitches even though we're going to talk about those in a second here but when it comes to performance on everyday use it's basically the same and also the results from geekbench show the same thing so here we have the cpu results from geekbench on ios 14.5 which we have right here and then we have here iOS 14.6. You can see the scores there 1603, 1605, basically the same. We have here 4235 and we have here 4246. Just a slight improvement on the multi core score with iOS 14.6. Basically, as I said, it shows the same results as your everyday use will show. They're probably the same on everyday use and you won't notice any big changes on performance and stuff like that now when it comes to actual bugs on ios 14.6 i have still a bug i don't know if it's just my device but when i go to app library a lot of the times it won't show the keyboard at all and that's very very annoying another like bug that i have seen reported by quite a lot of people on reddit is a notification bug mostly with like messaging apps mostly with iMessage I have seen that being reported multiple times and with WhatsApp as well basically not receiving notifications 
from those apps on iOS 14.6. And last but not least, let's talk about the release date, should you update, and of course, the future of iOS 14. Now, first of all, the release date of iOS 14.6, I believe it will be next week. Sometime next week, probably on Tuesday, you will see this update coming to your device. I know people wanna get this on their device, and of course, Apple will release it before the release of the first beta of iOS 15, but I really, really believe this will happen next week whether you should, should update or not of course you should it fixes a ton of problems of course adds new features but i suggest you wait like a couple of days just to see if maybe there's like a major problem with this update before you install it to your device now as far as the future of ios 14 goes i expect apple to release some minor updates in the next few weeks maybe like a 0.1 or 0.2 to ios 14.6 and then sometime in summer probably we will get ios 14.7 as well as of course the ios 15 betas will go on as well so that's basically for this video guys this is everything that you need to know regarding iOS 14.6 before you install it on your device. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more and for a full review of iOS 14.6. I will see you guys on the next one.